Today I'll be showing you how to open an individual trading account with Selfwealth. With an individual trading account, shares you buy are registered in your name. If you're looking to start investing in shares on your own, this account is a great way to get started. Before opening your trading account, you'll need to register as a Selfwealth member. Your Selfwealth membership is a kind of central account, and under this membership, you can apply for one or more trading accounts. For example, you could have an individual account, a joint account, and a company account, all under the same membership. So let's start by going to the Selfwealth website at selfwealth.com.au and click join now. Type in the email address and password you'd like to register with. You'll be prompted to read the Selfwealth terms and conditions, as well as the Selfwealth financial services guide. Click the box to indicate that you understand and accept both documents and click create my free account. This will send a verification link to the email address you nominated. To confirm your email address and activate your member registration, you'll need to click the link included in the confirmation email. Once you click the link to confirm your email address, you can start the registration process. First, you'll need to choose a community nickname. This name will be shown publicly on your Self Wealth community profile, so make sure that you use an alias that doesn't reveal your identity. Below this, you'll need to enter some basic personal details. Make sure that you enter these correctly as you won't be able to go back and change them later. When you're done, click next. Now you can apply for your first trading account. You'll need some personal details handy to complete your application, including your driver's license, your tax file number, and the details for an existing bank account to withdraw funds to. If you plan on transferring your HIN or existing holdings from another broker, you will also need your HIN and the name of your current broker handy. If you need some more time or would like to tour the Self Wealth platform first, you can click complete later and resume your application at a later time. I'm ready to go now. I'll click start application. Then we need to select the application type. In this example, we will be doing an individual application. Please note that the process is different for each application type. So the steps shown in this video may not work for you if you select a type other than individual. Next, indicate if you're a tax resident of a country other than Australia. To create a Self Wealth trading account, you must be an Australian tax resident. We've included a link with more information on this in the description below. When you're ready to continue, click next. Here, you'll need to enter some basic personal details, including your name and date of birth. Please make sure that you enter these details correctly, as once you start your application, you can't go back and change them. It's also important to note that if you plan on transferring your HIN or shares from another account, the details you enter here must match your other account exactly. We're ready to click next. This will take you to your application form. You'll see that your name and date of birth have already been filled in. To complete the section, enter your country of citizenship, country of birth, occupation, and source of wealth. In the next section, you'll need to provide either your driver's license or passport number so that we can try and electronically verify your identity. Tick the box next to the ID type you'd like to use and then enter the ID number. Now you'll need to enter your tax details. First, confirm your tax residency status, then enter your tax file number or TFN. If you have a TFN exemption, select yes and enter your exemption code in the TFN field. If you're a tax resident of a country other than Australia, select yes for the last option and select your country of tax residency. Now it's time to enter your residential address. This is the address where you are currently living. Next, enter your best contact number. This can either be a landline or a mobile number. You will need to indicate your politically exposed person or PEP status. You can find more information on what a PEP is by clicking the question mark icon. We've also included a link in the description below with more information. If you need to save your application and finish it later, you can click save and continue later at any point. To resume your application, log into the Self Wealth website or click on the special resume link that we've emailed you. On the next page, you'll be asked if you want to add a child to the account as a beneficiary. For this video, we'll be selecting no, but if you're interested in opening an account for a minor, we've included a link with more information in the video description. When you're ready, click next. On this page, you can choose how you would like your HIN to be set up. Your HIN is a unique number that links you to your shares in Chess, the system used by the ASX to record share ownership. The quickest option is for Selfwealth to establish a new HIN on your behalf. If you have a trading account with another broker, you can also transfer your existing HIN, although this may delay your account opening by up to three weeks while the transfer takes place. Today, we'll establish a new HIN. You can also find more information on chess and hins in the video description. 
Below this, you can choose to transfer issuer sponsored shares or broker sponsored shares. Don't worry if you don't want to transfer shares right now, as you can always transfer shares into your account later on. I don't want to transfer any shares, so I'll select no for both and click next. You'll need to enter your mailing address. Any correspondence related to your shareholdings, including chess holding statements and information from share registries will be sent to this address. If your mailing address is the same as your residential address, just tick use primary applicants residential address. When you're done, click next. Now it's time to enter details for your nominated bank account. If you ever need to withdraw funds from the Self Wealth Trading Platform, they will be withdrawn to this account. You can use any Australian bank account registered in your name, including joint accounts. Enter your bank account details as prompted, then click next. By default, when you buy shares with Self Wealth, we will instruct the share registry to pay any dividends as cash into your Self Wealth account. If you'd prefer to opt out and make your own dividend arrangements with the share registries, select no. We're going to leave this as yes and move on to the next page. Whenever you buy or sell shares with Self Wealth, you will receive a contract note to your registered email address. If you'd like to add additional email addresses to receive contract notes, you can add them here. We've also included a link in the description with more information. We're ready to click next. We've only got a few steps to go. Take a few moments to review the details you've entered and make sure they're all correct. If you need to make any changes, just click the edit button next to the section you want to modify. When you're satisfied the details are correct, click next. Before you submit your application, you'll need to complete the applicant declaration. Take as much time as you need to read through all of the terms and conditions outlined on this page and tick the six corresponding boxes to indicate that you understand and accept them. Now it's time to submit your application. You'll have received a four digit completion pin to your registered email address when you started your application. You'll need to enter this pin before submitting the application. If you can't find your completion pin email, you can request another one by clicking here. Enter your completion pin and click I accept to submit your application for processing. If we're able to verify your identity electronically, your application will be approved immediately and will then begin to work on creating your trading account. This process takes no longer than two business days. If we can't verify your identity electronically, you'll be prompted to upload additional certified documents before we can open your trading account. You can upload these documents by clicking the link here. We'll also send you an email with the document upload link. So if you need more time, you can always come back and upload your documents later. Once you've submitted your documents, we'll be in touch within a few days to finalize your open account. Remember though, most of the time you won't need to upload any additional documents and you will be approved for trading immediately. When your account is ready to trade, you'll receive an email letting you know with instructions on how to get started. And that's it. You now know how to apply for an individual trading account with Self Wealth.